since there is no real division of fractions, we have to first rewrite the problem as a multiplication problem and flip the second fraction. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we've rewritten our problem, negative 4 tenths times 5 over 1. Once again, we flip our fraction, our second fraction. Now all we do is multiply across. 4 times 5 gives us 20. 10 times 1 gives us 10. We can see that we have an improper fraction. Our numerator of 20 is greater than our denominator of 10. We know that 10 goes into 20 two times, so we put down our 2. Integer rules tell us that if we have one number, in this case a fraction, that's negative, or if any odd amount of numbers are negative, then the answer is also negative. So our final answer is negative 2.